What's going on guys? Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about amateur radio license plate. So this is something that will become available to you uh, as soon as you become a technician, which is the, in the U.S. anyways, is the entry level uh, amateur radio license. So what is a amateur radio license plate? Well, you may have seen these on the highway or you may just see these on different amateur radio communities passing by, but basically you can use your FCC license as proof and to the DMV to get a amateur radio license plate that typically has your call sign on it. So the process usually goes like this. You get your license and you get your FCC document that shows that you have an amateur radio license and then you usually go to your DMV or you fax it in, email, depends on the state and in turn they will uh, allow you to pay a fee in order to get a special li uh, license plate for your vehicle and you can actually use the same one for different vehicles you can have the same license plate. So you can have your call sign on multiple vehicles if you own them, which is kind of cool. But there are some drawbacks to that, and there are some pros to that, so let's talk about them. Let's first get into why somebody might want to do this. Well, in amateur radio, we are a community of people, and we like to talk to each other. We like to have that report with each other. So having an amateur radio license plate kind of tells the other drivers on the road that may also be into amateur radio that you're an operator. Well, that can mean that maybe you're listening on the simplex frequency or whatever, and somebody might see your plate and realize, hey, this person might be listening on 146.520. Maybe I should turn on my radio and try to give them a shout. In emergency situations, it could also let uh, people know that you're probably there for some type of emergency communication. So maybe there's not going to be as much questions asked of you. Now, that does not entitle you to have access to restricted areas and so on, but it might help uh, alleviate people's anxiety on why you might be there. Another thing that it might do is kind of explain what, why you have an antenna on top of your car. So a lot of us amateur radio operators, obviously we have some type of rig inside of our car. Some people have two meters and some people have giant HF antennas. And a lot of people might look at that and question, what is this guy doing? Well, if they see your license plate and see that you're affiliated with amateur radio somehow, it might uh, let them know or give them an idea as to why you have a giant antenna on top of your car. And most of us don't really care anyways, but that's there. And really, it's just a community to let other people on the, on the road know that you're a radio operator, uh, if there's other radio operators. And it's kind of cool. I mean... The license plate varies by state, so they all look a little different, and I'll show some up on the screen here. Either way, I'm not quite sure where they're going to be, but that's kind of the gist of what they're going to look like. And like I said, they do vary by state, but in turn, let's talk about why you might not want one. So one drawback to having your amateur radio call sign on your license plate is the fact that anybody that has knowledge of the FCC database can quickly punch in your call sign and determine where you live. Now, I for one don't really care about this as much, but I know there are a lot of people out there that have their concerns over this. So let me explain my reasoning. If you are a very aggressive driver and you're constantly cutting people off and you're just making a lot of people mad in traffic and you just so happen to make someone mad that knows how to, that knows to recognize your call sign on your license plate and also know how to look it up, well, you could very well give them the location of your home address. Now, that is the biggest reason why a lot of people don't get their license plate. But I'm going to talk about why I don't really think that matters. I myself, I don't really drive too crazy. Uh, sometimes I might speed a little bit, but I'm not really cutting people off and, and making people mad in traffic. And even if I did, if I made somebody mad enough, they're going to find out where I live anyways. They're going to follow me home. Uh, they're going to do whatever... If, if they're going to go through that amount of length to try to figure out where I am, they're just going to follow me. And that's why I think that it really doesn't matter that much. Sure, you may advertise, and for anybody else, you may advertise your call sign on your vehicle, but that's just a random house to them if you haven't done anything to them. Yet that's just a random place. I mean, anybody can say, okay, well, there's a house here, so somebody must live here. Well, there has to be some type of intent for or wrongdoing, and that's another thing that some people might bring into question is you're advertising to people that you're an amateur radio operator and that you potentially have expensive equipment in the car. Well, thieves, sure, there are thieves that, that steal for opportunity, 
but typically your average thief is not going to have the knowledge and be looking for people in traffic with an amateur radio call sign on the back of your vehicle and then target you specifically. They're going to look for a car that's unlocked or that has its windows down in the parking lot or, or something like that to be able to, to target that vehicle. I don't generally, and I could be wrong here, there's probably going to be somebody that disagrees with me, but I don't think that thieves go out of their way to look for amateur radio call signs on vehicles to determine which vehicles to steal from because they think that they have special equipment in there. The antennas, maybe. Maybe if you leave your, your car in a parking lot and you have a giant nice antenna on top of your car, maybe they might try to steal that, but I don't think that's a direct cause of your amateur radio license being on your vehicle. Now, I could be very wrong in my assumptions here, and I would invite anybody to let me know any type of bad stories that they've had with it down below so that we have a, a nice diverse conversation here. But in the end, I think it's just a, a really cool way to show your support for the hobby and both advertise the hobby to other people because I've seen a lot of different posts on the internet uh, on different reddits that it, like like no stupid questions and stuff like that where people take a picture of these these cars with antennas or with a license plate and they ask, wait, what's the deal with this license plate? What is this? And I've seen multiple threads where uh, they ask these genuine questions and they get answered and the individuals are actually interested in how this individual got it. And it could potentially lead to other people uh, being invited into the hobby that way. Whether it's whether it's for you or not is ultimately up to you. If it's If it's worth those risks, of potentially uh, showing people that you might have expensive equipment in your car or you are really just a private person and you absolutely don't want anybody to be able to tell where you live uh, from the license plate on your car, well then it's probably not the option for you. But in the end, it's it's left up to the individual. So if, if you're willing to take that, that risk or if you, you know, and I'm sure there's going to be a debate whether it is a risk or it's not a risk, but if, if you're willing to do that, then the option's there for you. And I'll put a link down below. Uh, the ARRL has a really good reference for uh, different license plates per state. So you need to go to your, uh, your DMV per state, and they have the whole list there that you can use to access. For example, I'm in Kentucky. So I'll be able to uh, use that list to go to the DMV for Kentucky on their license plate and see instructions on getting a amateur radio license plate for this state. And they also vary by state. Here in Kentucky, ours looks kind of rubbish. All it says is amateur radio, and then it has your call sign. There's no special little towers or pictures or radios or anything like that. Some states have really cool vanity plates. And if I did live in one of those states, I probably would have had one by now. Uh, another thing to consider, too, is that there is a fee for this. And I have saw online it varies anywhere between $10 to $50. And it could be more, it could be less, but that's typically what I see for the prices for these license plates. So if it's worth it to you, uh, I know here in Kentucky it costs $50 for the initial plate and then it's like $25 per year. If it's worth it to you and you wanna show other people that you're involved in an amateur radio hobby on the road and you're not too worried about uh, people looking up your call sign and, and seeing where you live, that might be a really cool option for you. But like I said, it's ultimately up to you to decide what you want to do but I just figured I would make this video because there's not many videos here on YouTube talking about amateur radio license plates specifically. So just in case somebody wanted to search it up and they wanted some more knowledge about the pros and the cons of the thing, and I'm sure people down in the below, if you guys are watching this, make sure to, look, to go down in the comments below because you will see probably several threads about uh, people with stories or different reasons why to get it or different reasons why not to get it. It's just one of those subjects that a lot of people disagree on and that's fine. Um, but anyways, I really appreciate you watching this video. Real quick, I want to remind everybody that um, we do have YouTube memberships now on the channel. And I would like to go ahead and give a special shout out to my extras, which is right now we are at count one, which is James KI5MBO. Thank you so much for being a supporter of the channel. And everybody else that just likes and comments and shares my videos, subscribes to the channel, you guys are awesome. And I really appreciate every single one of you. And that's it for today. 73 to you.